Here's good news from Anchorage, but this should have been obvious. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with a point. When a drunk, injured man tried to enter the downtown Hope Center of Anchorage, Alaska, a shelter for homeless and abused women, the staff provided him a taxi to the hospital. In response for that good deed, the city of Anchorage took legal action against the Center for Gender Discrimination because the man identified as a woman. I'm happy to report the city has now ended its lawsuit thanks to the Alliance Defending Freedom convincing a federal judge to back the Hope Center. Of course, it should have been obvious that a man doesn't belong in the living quarters of abused women. This is more a matter of common sense than religious freedom, but increasingly Christians might be forced to take the kind of stand the Hope Center did. And we'll have to make the case for religious freedom and why it matters. A new book by Luke Goodrich, Free to Believe, can help us do just that. Come to breakpoint.org slash book to get your copy. That's breakpoint.org slash book. I'm John Stone Street.